and one bag of black 12 inch blooms and two spring green, two yellow and two red 12 inch rounds. And for our base, we're gonna use a floor lamp that looks like this. They have them at Ikea and they also have them at Walmart and I found this one at Walmart for under $8. Okay, let's get started. Your lamp's gonna look like this inside and you just wanna take these poles out. I haven't really used this for anything. I always throw this in the top away but maybe you can get creative and think of something to use this top part for. And then you're gonna have this all attached. And I just cut this cord right like that. And take off this wrap and pull the cord out. Maybe you can use that for something. I always throw them away. And then you just uh, pull the cord out through the center of these tubes. So you'll have five of these. Okay, let's inflate our black 12 inch balloons to about a nine inch size. And we're going to start by putting them on the base. We're just gonna push two this way and then push two on this way and then push it down to the bottom. So we have this. Then we're gonna do one more row of black and we're gonna blow up our second row to about a seven inch size. So they're gonna be significantly smaller than the first quad. And then just push them on, one on this way and one on that way and shove it down into the cracks of the 12 inch black ones. And then we're gonna start going up the pole with the five inch silver balloons. So I just put one on this way and one on this way and tuck it down. And do that again. And we're gonna go up about 10 rows. inch rounds on your pole. You want to start with your 12 inch black ones because we're going to make the red light. So take two sets of black 12 inch rounds to about a nine inch size. And we're going to push one on this way and one on that way and push it down in between the cracks the silver one. Now for our second row, we're going to do the green light that's at the bottom. So we're gonna take two green 12 inch rounds to about a nine inch size, and we're gonna take two black ones to about a seven inch size. So they're gonna be a lot smaller because we don't want the sides to, to bulge out. We want everything to be nice and rectangular. So what we're gonna do now is just put this on this way, and this one this way, and then flip one of the green ones around to the front and push it down. So see how this is kind of even on the sides? And if people see it from the back, they see another green light. And that's what we want. Our next row is going to be black ones blown up to a nine inch size and all four of them are the same size and those are just gonna get pushed down right on the top. So you have the green light. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the yellow light in the middle. We're going to do two ones to about a seven inch size, two black ones, and then the yellow ones are going to be a nine inch size. So I have these again. I'm gonna push them on my pole, flip them this way and flip them around. And 
tuck it down in. And then I'm going to finish the top with four more quads of nine inch um, inflated black balloons. Well, 12 inch black balloons inflated to a nine inch size. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the red ones. Two seven inch black, two nine inch red, and then a quad of all nine inch black on the top to make the top of my stop sign. And I just used an uninflated 260 in the center of this to kind of hold it all together because my pole's not tall enough. I can add another thing in there and build it up if you want. If you don't have it, all you have to do is stack it on top. Say you only bought one lamp post. You can just take the knot of one of these and tie it. If you can see this, tie it to the knot of one of the yellow ones. So it's the, the black knot from the center of these quads and the yellow one, and I'm just going to tie it in a knot two times, not two times just so it doesn't come out. You can do that if you want to just add another pull up, you can. You can do it that way too. There is your giant balloon red light column. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll keep them coming. I'll see you in the next video. Happy twisting, guys.